Sometimes when we do a counting problem, we will need to use both a combination number or a permutation number and the multiplication principle. So let's see how that can happen. In this example, a company must select two men and two women to form a committee. There are ten men available and nine women. How many committees are possible? Okay, so the plan is we're going to count the number of men that are possible to have on this committee and then the number of women and then combine the two in the end. Okay, so for the men, uh, of course the order does not matter, so we're going to use C. There are 10 men available, and we're going to select two of them. So C sent C102, and that is 45. The women, again, we use C because order is not important. There are nine women available, so C92, and this is 36. Now we have two different counts here, and our fundamental counting principle tells us when we have two counts in one problem, then we get the final answer by multiplying those two counts. So the total then is 45 times 36. The answer is 1,620.